Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm going to Fazoli's. I've already placed my order online, so I've just got to go through drive through and I guess just tell them I placed an online order and uh, pick it up, and uh, then we'll try it out. But I'll tell you about uh, more about what I got uh, when I get it. It looks like they're getting new awnings on the building. That'll that'll look nice. Uh, it's always nice to freshen your building up a little bit. Um, yeah, I have an online order for Kevin Dunn. Okay, go ahead and pull around. Thanks. The hill, the hill from hell. That's what this is. Oh, the hill. Thank you. I am it's pretty painless except for the hill. <laughs> All right, I'll um, find a place to park. I'll be back. Okay, so here's what I ordered. Uh, I ordered a drink and a sub, the hot sub. The sub is the original Italian sub, and the drink is the strawberry frost Italian ice. Uh, they have a, just a regular strawberry Italian ice. This one is the frost, which includes vanilla ice cream. So anyway, I will tell you about the sub um, as soon as I get turned around. I'll tell you about prices and everything too. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to take the drink and put it over here in the middle so I don't knock it in the floor, literally. Um, so the drink, like I said, is a strawberry frost Italian ice. It is their uh, strawberry Italian ice, which is kind of like a slushy, but it has vanilla ice cream mixed in too. And it looked like it had actual straw. It says it's made out of real strawberries. So it was $3.49. And the original Italian sub, it looks like a 12 foot, uh, tw not 12 foot, it looks like a 12 inch sub. If it was a 12 foot sub, we'd be really happy. Um, a 12 inch sub with, um, it has Italian sausage, salami, spicy ham, pepperoni, mozzarella, mayo, lettuce, tomato, giardinera vegetables, which is like a pickled vegetables. I don't, I think I said that completely butchered it, but hey, it's Italian. Uh, this was $10.99 for the sub, and it looks like you get quite a bit of sub here. I do have to say, you don't get a lot of this, like, Italian, like, sausage. You don't get a lot. There's, like, three or four pieces on there, but there's not a ton. There are a few, but not a ton. Um, and they did give me a knife uh, with um, a fork and a, a knife and a napkin in it as well. A little packet. So I'm going to pick this sub up. I probably should have cut it in half, but, you know whatever. Here we go. Part of those uh, vegetables, the pickled vegetables, they look like um, jalapenos. A big sub a very thick um, I love the bread the bread is like a, a toasted garlic bread 
um, so it's got a little bit of a garlic flavor to it, but it's very, very soft bread. It's very nice. It's not soggy or anything like that. It's just very soft. Um, the spicy ham definitely has some spice to it. And like I said, I think, let me pull one out and let's just see what I'm talking about. It has, um, yeah, these. These look like jalapeno peppers to me. Hmm. Let's eat one and see. Definitely pickle. 100% positively jalapeno pepper, um, which I like. Um, I like a jalapeno pepper anyway. Tammy would love these. On a sub, you can't beat that flavor. You get the, all that meaty flavor in the, in the peppers. It's really good. I do have to say it's a little messy just because it's got so much stuff going on. Um, that's an excellent sub. It's really, really good. My only complaint, if I had to complain just even a little bit, is I wish the bread was a little more toasty on the outside. Like, I mean, my closest comparison is like a Subway sub. Um, Subway actually puts the whole sub in a, like a little toaster oven and toasts the outside and the, the, the whole thing and heats it up. This one is just the bread. I think the bread itself, no, it doesn't look like it's been toasted. It looks like it's just laid on there. Um, so anyway, it's not really toasted. So I wish I, it had a little bit more of a toast to it. But beyond that, I, I do think it's really, really good. The flavors are excellent. You really get that um, the, all the meat flavors in there. Um, you definitely get the spice from the jalapeno, that that pickly kind of flavor. Like when I ever get a sandwich at, at uh, Subway, me and Tammy both do this, we always get the um, the pickled the peppers and then we'll get like vinegar and oil on there and it adds that kind of like pickled kind of flavor to it. This already has it in there since it's pickled vegetables. So uh, I love the flavor of that. The uh, the mayo and everything goes really well together. The cheese is melty on there. So I know they've heated it up because the cheese is good and melty. And it is a little spicy. If you didn't want the spice, um, they also have a club you could get and they also have a, a meatball sub if you didn't want uh, the spicy Italian. So, um, so yeah, that sub is, is excellent. I would get that sub anytime. Uh, I think you will be, um, if you're used to eating a 12 inch sub at Subway, I think you'll be just as happy here. The good thing, what I like, really like about this compared to theirs, not only does it seem meatier, but it seems like there's less bread. So like a Subway sub is really huge, thick bread. Um, this one doesn't seem like it's all bread. This seems like it's a lot of meat and fillings instead of all the bread. So I really like that. That sub's a five out of five for me. I would get that sub any day of the week. Uh, like I said, the only complaint is really, I wish it was toasted, but um, on the outside, but beyond that, it's, it's perfectly fine. So here is the strawberry freeze. And you can see it's kind of, uh, kind of got strawberries floating around in there and some vanilla ice cream. So we got stuck on a strawberry. I think a strawberry is actually in the end. That's my only complaint about it. They use strawberries, but they use chunks of strawberries that get stuck on your straw. It just goes slow and it works better. Go off a strawberry. Yeah, push it against the very bottom and you won't get that problem. It's very strong strawberry flavor. You can see the big strawberry. You see the whole strawberry right there? And there's strawberries in the bottom too. Um, you just got to make sure your straw is in such a place where um, it doesn't try to bring the strawberry up through the straw. It's got that little uh, uh, tart strawberry flavor. Um, it's very sweet though. Um, it's got the icy kind of texture of a slushy, but it's got the ice cream mix in with it, with it. So you get that creamy vanilla flavor and a super strong strawberry flavor. So that is really good. Um, for three fifty, dollars I think that's a fair, I think that's a fair price for that, especially with the actual strawberries and the, and the ice cream and, and the, the sweetness of it. I think that's a good deal. So that also is a five out of five for me. I really do enjoy that. That's uh, that actually is something I think is worth the money. So um, overall, this meal totally was, uh, was a hundred percent well worth uh, buying. 
flavors are excellent textures are good uh, the bread's not soggy i could see it getting soggy if you left it sitting for a really long time but like thinking it's working let it sit for an hour it would probably get soggy but if you eat it pretty quickly i don't think it'll be any big deal um but yeah all really really good um if you've got a fazoli's in your area definitely worth trying out hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching